I would argue that the lack of freedom is far more dangerous. And in fact, I would argue that the lack of freedom is why we're in potentially one of the more dangerous times we've ever been in in this country. Because as you see, the more we get locked down as a species, the more we rebel, the more we get locked down, the more we feel oppressed, whether we're locked down in reality or whether we're being told we're locked down and we believe we've been locked down, whatever that is, then we feel like we're backed into a corner and that's where we want to get aggressive. We want to have a voice. We want to have choice. And what happens is if we've been truly not given freedom for a long time, if you get that lion in the zoo, and that lion has cubs, and those cubs are in the zoo. And that's the environment they're growing up in, is in the zoo, and they're always being fed, constantly been given their food, they're kept safe, they're kept locked away from everything else, they occasionally have to look up and see all the people out there, but that's it. And they do that for 12, 15 years. And then all of a sudden they're sucked out of that, and they're thrust into the freedom at that point. They're going to die. And it's not because the freedom is dangerous. It's because they've been put in a dangerous situation by not given, being given the freedom in the first place. And that's what's happening to our young people. We're stripping the freedom from them so early that when they see what it could be later, and theoretically how they can go get it, they're more apt to die. So we need to give them that freedom early. And what freedom means isn't Lord of the Flies Let's just see what happens. It's having good mentors, good coaches come alongside them and go, yes, we've got options. Options are A, B, C, D, and E. How can I inspire? Like, what are the options we want? We don't mention options F, G, H, I, J, because maybe those are bad options. So you're still giving them freedom. You're still giving them choice, but you're just giving it developmentally where they can handle it. They're getting choices so that they can express themselves. They can feel like they're involved in it and they're choosing out of all really good things. And then as they get older and they start to develop more, you start to give more choices that are all still really good choices. And what happens is over time, they started to make all these good choices because that's all they've been. They haven't had to worry about branching out and doing something stupid because they've had all these great options. They've always had a voice. They've always had the freedom to choose, but now they actually know themselves a little bit too. And, and the adults next to them know who they are too. And we can start to hone those choices in. That's what education is supposed to be about. It's two parts. One, educate it means to draw out. You're drawing out the natural genius that is inside everybody. And I, and I do believe that is inside everybody. We just have to figure out how to unlock that for everybody. So you're drawing that out while also scaffolding in anything else you need to be able to continue to adapt in, in, in the way the world is. So I would argue that the only thing we can do to keep them as safe as we possibly can is to make them ridiculously free early on.